Hello friends, my name is Kevin. Welcome back to another episode of Tea Time Tuesdays. Last week we talked about S posture. This week we're going to talk about C posture. C posture is a setup swing fault. So when you address the golf ball or step up to the golf ball, what we see is an excessive amount of thoracic kyphosis or a rounding of the upper back and also shoulder rounding forward. So it looks something like this. The ideal position we'd want you in is a little bit more straight of a spine. And this is uh, problematic really for two reasons. Um, the first reason, when you have a rounded back, it's going to make it very difficult for you to reach overhead. So for example, in a straight position, I'm able to reach much more farther overhead, versus if I have a round, I'm not able to get up as high. The second reason is um, when you take up motion in the spine in certain planes of motion, um, so th the motion is in this position here, you're going to be more limited in rotation, versus again, if I'm in a more neutral position, I'm able to rotate much more freely making, obviously, if you're, you're limited with your rotation, much more challenging to hit the golf ball and make more consistent contact. So the first thing that we're going to want to do to address the C posture is stretch out the front of the chest or the pectorals. So since most of us are sitting at work and have desk jobs, the shoulders will have a tendency to round forward. So in order to get out of that position, a good way is actually utilizing a door frame, a golf cart, a tree, a fence, whatever that you can find to really stretch out the front of the chest. So the first motion you're going to do so you're going to put your hand on the door. You're going to step with the same foot, so your left foot's going to be the one stepping in forward if it's my left shoulder. You're going to be lunging forward, hand back behind you, and you're going to feel a nice stretch across the front of the foot right through here. The next position is just a little bit higher, and then the last position is all the way at the top. So the second exercise you're going to do to address C posture is actually involves lying face down. What we need to do to maximize the flexibility gains that we gain with the pec stretch is actually use the muscles on the back of the shoulder to help you keep you in that better position. So if we switch to the other camera, you, the first exercise is actually a series of three exercises. The first one, you're going to be pinching the shoulder blades back while lifting your hands straight back, almost like you're Superman. The second one is out to the side, pinching the shoulder blades back first like you're making a big T. And then the last one is actually reaching overhead like you're making a big Y and pinching the shoulder blades just like the village people did it. So the last thing you're going to do to address the C posture is learn how to address the ball. So in order to address the ball appropriately, the motion should be coming from the hips, what we call a hip hinge, rather than through the upper back. So in order to do that effectively, imagine almost as if you're going to be bowing towards the ball, and that motion again is coming from my hips going backwards, and this is actually a relation of how flexible your hamstrings are, so if at all you feel any hamstring tightness or wondering if you're doing this correctly, Feel free to come in to Breakthrough and we'll give you a full evaluation.